Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another bomb reading. Hope you guys are well, Sagittarius, and if today is your birthday, happy birthday, yeah, and uh, mm-hmm. And maybe we'll have a little short uh, destiny, uh, I think I will, I think I'll just post a short destiny forecast uh, just uh, with the the card, the birth card for today's uh for, you know, people born this day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so those are based on your ages as well. So this is why um, I'm only able to uh, post like kind of a sample, right? Or just a real mini one. And yeah, if you guys want readings, uh, the destiny forecasts are going to go back up. Yeah, they're going to be, I'm going to take those off of promotion. They've been on promotion for about two weeks now uh, for $50. And uh, yeah, those are going to be going off this coming Saturday. So tomorrow's the last day. If you want to get a destiny forecast for $50, they're based on numerology and astrology. Yeah. And I have a lot of, uh, other really cool readings. Um, yeah. If you want to get your I Ching reading, I Ching. So this is based on Taoism, uh, and this is for decisions. If you are kind of, you know, uh, thinking about something for a long time and it can really help you. Yeah. So let's get into this, you guys. And Sagittarius, in this reading, we have the observer and we have secrets. We have the veil too. Can you imagine? Wow. Somebody's been, uh, somebody's been hiding something here. Yeah, they have, right? We see the veil. <laughs> and so we start here with the observer and, you know, these are these, uh, these little, uh, I forgot what they're called, these cards, but that's not really important. Here's the observer. She's taking a picture here. Uh, and she's been, you know, especially interesting with these cameras, right? Uh, you know, these are the days when they had those, but I think it took a long time with some of these cameras. That's why they looked miserable when they were taking a photo, right? Remember that? Uh, you just, everybody looks miserable and nobody's smiling because they were standing there for a very long time posing. Yeah. Not really so much posing, but yeah, standing there because something about the camera took a really long time. Okay. So now we're, you know, now we're in a different place. We are right. Which has its uh, cons as well. For sure it does. Uh, but yeah, but we, you know, we try to look at the good part, right? Here's secrets and the mermaid's love. So this lady, or this little girl, she's not a lady, uh, you know, she's, what is she, like, I don't know, 10 or 11, but anyway, here she is, and uh, she's got these keys in her pocket, these giant keys, and she's walking here, and the moon is, she's holding the moon, and there's a keyhole here. Somebody has the key to your heart, or they want to unlock a secret. I feel like that's it. They want to unlock a secret. I feel like somebody wants to tell you something here uh, that they have been secretly loving you, right? Most likely here. And you may be the one doing it, Sagittarius, of course, right? The readings can be switched. Here is the mermaid's love. Uh, this is interesting, this, this picture here. It looks like kind of like my, a grown version of my little granddaughter who is uh, very fair with dark hair. Um, yeah, and so very beautiful here, this, uh, this girl. And, you know, this man's a little older, but he, she's a mermaid and he loves her. He wants a protector. This is a, a cosmic love, like, uh, like a psychic love, a spiritual love. That's what this is about. And we have the society. Somebody could be married or they want to marry you, especially next to the mermaid's love. I feel like somebody wants to marry you. I also feel like somebody wants to lift the veil here. Yeah. Lift your skirt, Sagittarius, right? Are you wearing Spanx? Is that what they call them? We, when we were in uh, school, we just used to wear shorts with skirts, right? Mm hmm. And so, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the veil is here. Somebody wants to lift this veil or lift your skirt. Yeah, probably. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and so we have agitation and the applause card. The applause is an ending. Yeah, it is just like, you know, and agitation is what it is. I feel like somebody is agitated here because they've been keeping a secret. Yeah. That's what's going on here. And then we have, uh, with these gypsy cards, we have the journey and melancholy. All right. All right. I was a little, I used to call it melancholy. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> so here is the journey and this is just like the world card. He's leaving his home to go on a new journey. So there's an ending and a new beginning. And, uh, yeah. And so the melancholy card is, that's what it is too. It's sadness. There's some type of, there's a cycle ending. 
And a new cycle begins for you, Sagittarius. I'm pretty sure here. Uh, but yeah, it looks like you have something really uh, nice coming. This is drama. And I don't mean drama like somebody's going to, you know, come to you uh, and, you know, bring drama into your life. No, I don't mean that. I just mean that something happened uh, dramatic here uh, that is supporting the story here. Yeah, something something was dramatico. Yes, it was. Let's see what we got, Sagittarius. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Get your love compatibility reading. Those are also going to go off of... Uh, off of special, yeah, and I'm going to be rising the price the price again. Uh, those will be eighty dollars, yeah, and uh, same thing with the uh, destiny. They're going to go up to eighty, and so the love compatibility readings and the destiny are based on they are based on astrology and numerology, and I will be posting a sample of the uh, the couples readings, the co love compatibility readings. Yeah, I'm going to be doing it for. I think Angelina and Brad Pitt. Yeah, they're not together. And then I will also post one for a couple that is together. And you can see that they are accurate. So let's see who we got, Sagittarius. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you can tell that somebody is in love with you here because of the mermaid's love is really clear here. Uh, yeah, and the way he's holding her is like, you know, it's like he's holding her kind of like, Let's get married. It's it is kind of like that, or some major honor, right? Sue, so we got here, Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the Death card. Yeah, I said there's an ending here with the Journey card, and the Applause card. Yeah, especially and there. Yeah, exactly. There's an ending here. Here's the Death card, and you could be saying, well, isn't that a transformation, Power and Light? Yeah, it is. All endings are transformations, right? Yeah, they are in some way or another and temperance the knight of pentacles the queen of pentacles the wheel of fortune the nine of swords and uh the five of swords okay so somebody was worried in this reading as well yeah they were okay don't worry because you know don't worry be happy like uh, bobby farron said right yeah i used to have a, a bumper sticker <laughs> with that don't worry be happy year in south san francisco i don't live there anymore it was like years and years ago okay so let's see what we got you guys and uh somebody's worried and there is uh there's some type of a defeat here with the five of swords uh and these other cards yeah there's a defeat in this reading but there's a defeat, but the bigger message here is that there's a victory, right? Yeah. And so the eight of swords reversed is a release. Something's ending here and it is being released, right? Let go. Uh, this is the eight of swords reversed and the queen of pentacles crosses you Sagittarius. And this may be the person possibly, uh, an earth sign or somebody who is earthy or somebody who has a lot of earth in their chart somebody who has an earth-like occupation it's just going to depend right she uh she or somebody maybe with money she's you know she's holding her her pinnacle right yeah and so uh why it's all happening is the death card maybe there's a scorpio here there could be of course right but uh scorpio is about endings right it's it's the planet of death and rebirth and transformation yeah so death and transformation, rebirth, yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. the afterlife. Yeah, Scorpio's about those things, of course. It's about other things. It's about money, uh, shared money, right, OPM, other people's money, kind of building together, inheritance. It's about a bunch of things, right? Uh, it's about intensity, yeah. Scorpios are very intense and very, uh, they're strong in general because they can deal with uh they just are. They can uh, deal with, partially I think, because they can deal with endings or they see life as uh, a transformation, like at the end of your life when you die, right? So anyway, getting back to this, we have the death card here and there is an ending here and it sits in the root. In the past was the two of pentacles. Maybe you were going back and forth about this whole situation, Sagittarius. You could have been. And your mindset is the four of swords reversed. Yeah. And you know, the four of swords reversed in this reading, it looks like it's restlessness, right? 
Uh, some Sagittarians are restless anyway, right? In the destiny forecast, if you have fives uh, in your uh, your yearly forecast, then you know there will be a restlessness all year about something, right? Yeah, fives are about change. Uh, we have a five right here at the end here. And the potential outcome here is the five of swords. So this is uh, an ending or change, but a change uh, attributed to a defeat and a victory. Yeah, and we can see the journey card the same way as a defeat and a victory or an ending and a new beginning uh, or closing a cycle and beginning a new one. Change. Five of swords is here. Yeah. Let me look at this for a second here. Mm -hmm. It's interesting here with the uh, the Tree of Life Oracle. It is so kind of fascinating. These, uh, yeah, and uh, because here on the Veil card is uh, the Crown sits at the top, uh, and these other cards here, these other uh, meanings here, we have understanding, and we have judgment. It's interesting how they are showing Aries as judgment right because they have the aries sign here and now we have mercury on echo uh and this all this means something echo of course right this is what i mean these are very deep uh perpetuate uh perpetuate is of course to keep things going or to never have it end uh this is venus interesting here right yeah venus is showing up here on the veil card and it is with perpetuate this could be uh, a never-ending love here with this veil and somebody's lifting the veil. We also have, uh, this is Jupiter here with mercy. Interesting, uh, right? With mercy. Uh, and mercy is about forgiveness. It is, uh, it can be about temperance as well. Like, just is like moderation, right? And harmony and balance, right? Through spiritual growth. We have wisdom over here. And this is with Saturn. I mean, not Saturn, Uranus, which is... Uh, worldly wisdom really because this is wisdom um yeah this is uh, aquarian energy it's really interesting here right so uh, let's see what else we have sagittarius back to the tarot right and then the, the the knight of pentacles is here and we'll get a card on the knight of pentacles and we're gonna uh where are those cards at we are going to um not highlight it but clarify it. yeah highlight we're thinking about our hair over here right let's see what we got here highlights <laughs> and uh, let's get a card on the queen of pentacles first because she sits in the challenge or the crossing energy so there's, there's an ending here and there's a release eight of swords reversed yeah we know something's being released yeah with applause which is an ending journey card five of swords death card oh gee right yeah now we have the surprise card. So something's been released here and it's, it's, it being kind of, it's going to be a surprise to you. I said, Sagittarius, that somebody could be lifting the veil. It's about their love for you. The mermaid's love. All right. Yeah. The mermaid's love. So maybe they are telling you they are no longer married. The society is there or they want to marry you that we should stay, but there is an ending here. There's a, there's a clear ending, the applause, the death card, five of swords journey. Yeah, there's a clear ending here. And so I feel like this person is most likely releasing something and coming to surprise you about it. I feel like they could be releasing some type of maybe, uh, agitation. We have that card, but um, I feel like they're coming to tell you that they had an awakening about you or that they realized they really, really love you. It is definitely possible. The surprise can be an awakening. I mean, he went netting, right? Netting for shrimp or something. And, uh, he goes, Oh, you know, uh, my, my, my nets are full or however they do it. Right. I think they call it, I don't know if it's casting or netting, but, uh, you know, here he is pulling these bags. Uh, and there's no shrimp in there or whatever he thought was going to be in there, sardines or whatever. Uh, no, these are money bags, it looks like. And so uh, this, he has surprised himself. Somebody could have been surprised after you left. Maybe you made them sad because we have the sadness card here. It's also possible they are just ending. Maybe you are just ending the way you used to believe, but... I, there's not a lot of pentacles here that speak about belief systems. Here's the two of pentacles. That's it. 
it's not really about belief systems here so much. It's about somebody wants to tell you something here and they're either going to surprise you. I feel like they were surprised themselves, themselves. Yeah, most likely, but this person's coming to surprise you. We have that card and we have money. So whatever surprise they are bringing you, uh, is very favorable. It doesn't always have to be about money, but I feel like when we see these cards together, surprise and money in this deck here, the way I do, uh, the way I, you know, use the, the gypsy cards here, uh, those two cards together are saying that this person could have been uh, gone through an awakening that, that being with you is, is, is great, that it's favorable, that it's, that it's what I want, that it's what will kind of enrich me with the money card, like will, will nur nurture me, like it's, yeah, it's like will bring me abundance, it doesn't have to be money, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here as well, the death card, the two of pentacles is in the past, we'll see what you're like uh, going about, going over, we have the messenger with it, yeah, so you're wondering if you're going to get news here. And here is, uh, you know, the postal guy wearing green. I don't know why. He might not be a postal guy. He could be a military man. Yeah, he is. He's bringing a message. This can be about an offer as well. But you're wondering here if you were going to get news here or an offer. Yeah. And here's the maid answering the door. It looks like the maid, Sagittarius. You guys have a maid? Okay, can they come over? Can I use your maid a little bit here? Yeah. <laughs> Four of Swords reversed. Let's see what we have, Sagittarius. Now try to keep things uh, kind of organized because of because of Feng Shui, right? Yeah. If your if your house is disorganized, so is your mind. Four of Swords reversed and the wedding. This is what's on your mind. You probably want to marry them, Sagittarius, right? Or you want to be a, become a priest and conduct weddings, right? Is that what you want to do? Perform weddings? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Four of Swords reversed. Maybe you're restless to marry them. Maybe you have thought long and hard about marrying this person, possibly. Wow, it's kind of a trip here. Mm -hmm. And this could be your person's energies. It can sometimes. It really can, uh, if you, especially if you guys are connected, uh, right? Connected soul in a soul, soulful way. And the Knight of Pentacles and the Sorrow card. Somebody's getting, this is a breakup card. And we can see the woman here who is uh, definitely heartbroken she's standing by the ocean she's slumped over and she has just read this letter that says i don't want to be with you anymore that's what's going on in this reading omg here and temperance sagittarius is your concern it could be you possibly the enemy okay this is so there's a third party here this enemy if you guys aren't in one that's fine but somebody uh somebody may have been in one or you could have been the third person now you look like you are the great love here, the grand love, right? El gran amor. That's how it looks here. Uh, but the enemy is, it could be a, like an enemy, but you know, we're kind of, we're a little bit old to be having enemies and we live in more of a civilized society. So this enem enemy card, uh, well, we, yeah, we do. But this enemy card kind of can talk about a third party. It just can in, in this deck, right? Yeah, definitely. And in your environment, Sagittarius, is the Wheel of Fortune, uh, yeah, and we have falseness. Mm -hmm. Interesting here. Yeah, somebody's getting left behind here. Uh, let's get another card here because falseness. Oh, shit. Excuse me, you guys. Two of the same, right? And now we have the melancholy card. Here's the sad woman here. So remember at the beginning of the reading, I had just laid these cards. Well, I don't know if you guys saw these if you're watching the camera, but or the video, but here's the sad lady, and she's sad because this man's leaving. It's right next to her. He's going on a journey. He's leaving his home behind. It's a forever journey. He's not coming back. It's the world card, basically, and here we have falseness twice with the wheel of fortune. Yeah, somebody's sad here because there could have been a false love here as well, like somebody thought they loved somebody, but I feel like uh, your person or you has figured out, Sagittarius, that 
that you guys want to be together. Yeah. Yeah, and so this veil is going to be lifted. You know, it's next to agitation. When we see the veil with agitation here and society on this side, somebody could have, uh, this person may, it could have been bothering them for a long time that they want to marry you, possibly. It could have been bothering them for a long time because they have to end something here with the applause card next to the agitation. Yeah, the applause is not, you know, Sagittarius, I'm your cheerleader so much. It's an ending like in a play. So that's what that card means. Let's see what's on this card. Experience, perpetuate. Uh, Echo is, uh, it's here with Mercury, so it has to do with communication, right? Um, definitely. And judgment is here. Mercy again. Yeah, and essence is at the very heart of it. Wow. Essence is at the heart of applause. That's interesting, right? So, yeah, and... Uh, Yeah. So let's see what else we have. Yeah. Wow. And the nine of swords shows up in your hopes and desires. Well, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a card where she's upset or worried or yeah. And it's a completion as well. Faithfulness. You see that? Wow. So in your environment is either you're breaking up with somebody or this person is because it shows up in the environment here. It's a, an emotional or spiritual environment. Uh, it can be a physical environment as well. But in your hopes here is faithfulness and the night you're hoping this person's going to be faithful to you. Right? Yeah, you are. Here's the, uh, what's it called? The Great Dane? No, the St. Bernard. Yeah, Bernard was his name. And we have joyfulness. You're hoping here to reconcile and that this person is choosing you and being faithful to you does really look like that, right? Five of swords in the outcome, Sagittarius. Here's the guy with the red hair, kind of smirky, right? Let's see. And he has, he has defeated these two men with the friend. Mm -hmm. The friend is a trip here, but there's an ending here. And the potential outcome is a victory and a defeat. The victory is yours in this reading, Sagittarius. It is your birthday too. And that, that does help. It does because the sun... Uh, makes things the sun in your sign uh, makes things more clear uh, for all your decisions and things like that but it brings warmth and growth and power yeah this is why whenever it is your birthday who, who whoever sign right Taurus Scorpio whoever um, is you know when the sun is in your sign you you do it's a favorable time for you so it is uh, the sun is in Sagittarius right now and uh, the friend card is somebody could be defeating your person could be ending something or defeating something something's being defeated because maybe because you guys are friends but this friend card it does talk about a friend just an, a, fr a friend wow you're a friend and you know the best relationships are when people are friends and lovers right mm -hmm. yeah and definitely not just friends because that's a roommate and definitely not just lover because that's can just be uh, too much passion and not, not enough of other things, right? But this friend card can speak about somebody who is their own best friend. Like, I got to do this for me. Yeah. Let's see what I got to be me, right? And we have the haughtiness card. Okay. Now, it's not haughtiness, like, you know, uh, your legs are sexy. No, it's haughtiness in terms of somebody, your person or you is doing what's best for them. And they have chosen the haughtiness is like the thing that is superb, what is best for them as well. That's what's going on here. Somebody made a choice here for what is best for them. And there is major love here. And there is, there's major love. And I feel like you have something really good coming here, Sagittarius. Yeah. Somebody's going to come lift the veil, right? They might lift your skirt up, Sagittarius. So just, you'd be saying, I don't wear skirts. Well, okay. Pull down your panties. Just kidding. <laughs> We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here.